of World Tour on Football Manager 2021. Now, since the last episode where we picked up two victories against Churchill Brothers and Gokulam Kerala, we've had a pretty mixed bag, mainly negative, but we'll, we'll quickly run through it now. So we faced Real Kashmir and we lost 3-1. I did think it was going to be another 5-0 drubbing or something of that sort as they went 2-0 up. But thankfully, we managed to get a goal back and the second half, but they were 3-1 up at half time. Second half, we didn't let a goal in, but still very disappointing. And we faced Azor FC, lost 2-0. Not much to say about that one. We played terribly. Then there was the game against Naroka, which I thought we'd managed to salvage a draw in thanks to Rajivan Susadamai's 52nd minute goal, only for Naroka to score in injury time. Then we drew 1-1 with Sudeva, second time we faced them this season. We managed to beat them 1-0 last time. This time it was only a 1-1 draw. Prince Wellamika getting our goal. That gave us the lead, but then they went back and equalised pretty much straight from kickoff. And then the final game that I've just played was against Punjab FC. Another 2-1 victory for us against them. Varun Mather getting his first goal for us and Prince Wellamika scoring a penalty. So in today's episode, we are going to play the two games against Mohamedan, who are now in third and TRAU who are still top of the table. Looking at the table, we are currently sitting in sixth, five points off the relegation zone, but also only four points off second place. So it's still very tight, seven games left to go for most people, eight games left in the season for us. Let's see how we get on in the two games today and see whether it's gonna be a relegation battle for the final few games of the season, or if we can push for those continental qualification places. Now, I've looked at the rules for the Indian National Football League and it says that this, this is like overall in India, not just for the National Football League. One team qualifies for the Asian Champions League group stage, one team for the Asian Confederation Cup group stage and one for the Confederation Cup playoff. However, places are allocated by the top team from the Indian Super League, which is not in the game. I'm assuming they get the group stage place for the Champions League and the top team from the Indian National Football League. So they'll get the Confederation Cup group stage. But then league positions in Indian Super League. So that suggests to me that you have to finish top to qualify for a continental competition, which I'm, I'm feeling we're probably not gonna do this season. But I guess we'll see at the end of the season. Since the last episode, we have actually, I was gonna say sold a player, technically not sold him, but Kieran Das has agreed to join Shivi Shivajan Shiv Shivajian's football club at the end of the season. So that's three hundred and fifty pounds back in from selling him. I've I've never really liked him from the start of the episode, from the start of the game even. So no real loss there. And obviously, as I mentioned, Susa Demai is also leaving us to go to Lajon at the end of the season. Another transfer that I forgot to mention is. Our backup goalkeeper Shahinlal Maloli, he has been sent out on loan to Salgo Car. He came to me asking for first team football. He's he's not gonna get picked. So I offered to loan him out and he was happy with that. So good luck to him there. He'll, I don't think he'll get any game time because well, at least I won't see any ratings from him because they play in the Indian lower leagues. But speaking of goalkeepers, our second choice goalkeeper is injured for six to seven weeks. So we're playing a risky game by not having a goalkeeper on the bench for the next six or seven weeks. But in goal for us today is Pratik Kumar Singh. At right back we have Balakrishnan, Felix Nixon, Maria Dasan are at centre back and in Ganga at left back so it's pretty much our usual defence. Bupathi, Mada and Anandraj are in midfield. Ligio Francis, Joxon Das in the attacking wing positions. Joxon Das has been uh, one yellow card away from a suspension for the past three or four matches. Um, I'm telling them to ease off tackles every single game and he, he's not got a yellow card so far. So fingers crossed that keeps going in this game. I've probably just jinxed it and he's probably going to get sent off. But then we've got Prince Valimika up front who's still been scoring goals for fun. So we're going to do the outstretched arms in praise and say go out there and carry straight on from where you finished last match. It worked for Balakrishnan and he's seen motivated. Everyone else looks composed or normal, whatever that means. Am I confident Sriram Bhupathi will perform today? I'm very happy with him, have no worries at all. We've left Robin Singh out. Um, no, he's he, he's fit and available, we're just taking the chance to rest him. 
Um, no injuries. He's not guaranteed a place in the team, same as everyone else. That's the one we'll go with because, like I've said in previous episodes, he's not been very good. And also Mika's in fine form. As we have a highlight within the first minute of the game. So Mohamedan's goalkeeper launches that up. But thankfully Nganga's there to pick it up for us. And we can start the attack with Mather through the centre of the field. Plays it to Bupathi. Who has a dig. I thought that was in. Off the post. Sriram Bupathi got asked about him at the start of the game. And he's he's just proved why I started him. So playing it out from the back now. Apparently Balakrishnan has picked up a slight groin injury. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Might have to take him off in a little while. As we move forward with Charles Anandraj. So plays it back to Nganga. I'm not sure how to pronounce the J's. Because I, I realised when editing last episode. That these players are Indian. How do Indians pronounce the J's? I've been pronouncing it like it's Spanish or something like that. As Francis is in the box. Francis to on goal. What's going on? Leo Francis somehow scores. Again, the J, Lee Joe Francis. I'm, I'm going to go with Lee Joe Francis. He scores the goal after a game of ping pong between the defender and the goalkeeper. Francis coming from the right-hand side, takes a shot, deflected. Oh, it was him that had the second shot as well. I thought it was the defender. So Francis, at the third time of asking, gets himself his second goal of the season and puts us 1-0 up. So that's half time. And I'm pretty pleased with how things are going. So I'm going to... I feel like I'm out stretching my arms a lot. I'm going to go no gesture with this one. Just say played well so far. Still room for improvement. Um, Sri Rambu Pathy's looking pleased. Everyone else pretty much looking calm and composed. Ratings wise. Yeah, all fine to me. Let's have a look at their condition. Yeah, no worries. That knock that Balakrishnan had. It's not really affected him. So I'm going to keep him on. Right, so apparently Balakrishnan and Jude Felix Nixon are both on yellow, one yellow card away from the suspension. Uh, Balakrishnan's having a good game, but his... Uh, do I... No, he's having a good game. He's not had many good games. We're, go we're going to leave him on and risk it. Jockson Das, however, I know he's on a yellow card, so we'll, we'll take him off, bring on Shem Martin Eugene, who's looking apprehensive. Um try and give him a team talk to make him make him calm down no gesture i'm just going to say pressure's off go out there play a natural game i don't think that did anything to him he's still he's still looking apprehensive probably shouldn't have brought him on in that case throw in for mohammedan it's cleared by mathua and that ball just keeps on going the defender finally realises that the ball's there for him to collect and picks it up. Adafodka, I think his name was. Plays it back to the goalkeeper. He launched the long ball forward. Thankfully, Felix Nixon's there. Bupathi looked like he may have been coming back from an offside position, but apparently not. Francis plays it through to Mather. And Varun Mather gets his second goal this season. It's only his second goal for the club. And we have confirmed the victory here. 2-0 at home to Mohamedan. He wasn't coming back from an offside position. Clearly, the defender was playing him on. My bad. But Francis, lovely for the through ball. And Mather places it past the goalkeeper. And there we go. Full time. 2-0 victory. Where does that put us in the league table? We'll do a team talk first. Um, outstretched arms again. Good win. Well done. Looking inspired and motivated. How pleased am I with the win? We were excellent. Top performance. Prevented Mohamedan from getting a single shot on target. It does show how dominant we are. Complete performance. Very happy. Supporters liked my considered passing approach. Um, I think we've been doing that the entire season, mate. It's not just a, a new thing. You've been interviewing me the entire season as well, Gurfri. I've made a commitment to, to the club to play this way. Yeah. Um, I've got no, no thoughts about that team getting rid of the manager. But there we go, fourth place we are now in the league. Joint third with Real Kashmir. Four points off second place. Eight points off top of the table. We've got a game in hand as well. So we could still push for that top of the table league title winning position. Which of course would mean that we would have to resign and look for a job in another nation that begins with I. But there's a confirmation, another 530 quid in the bank. We've got a little... Little post-match chat with Sergio Kumar from the Kolkata 
football post he's asking how important a good home record is i'm going to say it's vital because that's what people say so can we keep up this good form on live comms we haven't lost a single game yet when i've been bringing them to you live we're playing top of the table next trau how many games have they lost all season they've lost three games drawn two how did they do in the last match they lost they lost 1-0 against Punjab who we beat 2-1 who we beat 2-1 twice in the league this season come on that's got to be a good sign well I'll be back in a second for that game so back for game two against TRA TRAU and I've just realized that in the first part of this episode there was a little bit of my green screen that wasn't covering the screen so there's a bit of a gap there so sorry if that affected your enjoyment of the last match but it should all be fixed now as we make no changes at all to our lineup for this game there was an injury doubt charles anandraj had charles anandraj learn how to say the jays charles anandraj had a tight hamstring three days before the game fortunately that was only keeping him out for between one and two days so he should be okay now I'll probably not playing the full game unless he's having an amazing time of it but he's going to start and let's let's get into it and hope we can get revenge for the 5-0 drubbing that they handed us earlier on in the season and also open up the title race a little bit okay so this is the team sheet and this time I can actually talk about it because Joseph Mayawa Olalei is the man that got a hat-trick in the first 20 minutes of the last match against this team so we're going to be marking him we're going to be pressing him we're going to be showing him on his weaker foot we, we're going to be making sure that he just doesn't get a chance hopefully saying that he's probably going to go and score another hat trick but let's find out so it's oh i was going to say it's fist bumping time again but it's not because i can't use that gesture so it's outstretched arms time again go out there carry straight on from where you finished the last match looking motivated a few players looking composed it's what we like to see. How are you approaching the task of keeping the National Football League's leading goal scorers quiet here? I know, good we can be. And I trust my players to do their jobs. Um, Mario Desan will definitely carry his form in. Um, he's been playing really well. Certainly want to see him keep it up. Does it help your chances that Naresh Singh is out today? I don't know who he is. A fullback. He's injured. 12 appearances, no goals. Form is 6.76. It's probably unfair to single him out, really. So here we go. We're at home in our beautiful, I say this every episode, beautiful baby blue and orange kit, but it is beautiful. Who thought of putting baby blue and orange together for a football kit? Genius. So TRA, you give the ball to us very kindly. Das advancing on goal down the left-hand side. Can he cut inside or can he get a ball in the box? He can do neither. He gets tackled by Tudu and TRA, you are on the counter-attack now. There's the danger man. And I've just realised I didn't do what I said I was going to do. So we will just quickly, there he is. Um, always mark. Yep, always press. Uh, we don't want to do anything in terms of tackling. Weaker foot, confirm changes. Won't make a difference for this highlight, but let's hope he doesn't do anything. As Horam plays the ball towards Tursinov, who is thankfully offside. Throw in for TRU just inside their half Lalo Mauma impressed that I managed to say that name plays it to Singh and they're just passing it around slowly at the back long ball forward headed away by Mario Dasan but they get it back and it's Eze Eze has a shot and it's 1-0 Henry Eze second goal of the season he gives TRAU the lead and I'm going to demand more we've not had a shot on goal yet here we go. Could this be our first attempt? Mario Dasan, ball forward towards Anika, headed away, and it's an attacking opportunity for TREU, it looks like. Tursinov through on goal. Good save and cleared by Mario Dasan. I can see why this lot are top of the league. As the goalkeeper made a great save there from that header from the corner. It's so half time, and it's not as bad as it was in the first game. 1 0. Um, I'll, I'll take that I'm not entirely happy but I'll take it I'm far from pleased probably is the best thing to say to them um, how angry do we want to be rash our arms 
far from pleased. There we go. Oh no. Felix Nixon and Mather are looking a bit nervous. Okay. So, Elijo Francis not having the best of games. I think we're going to bring on Raju for him. And then our two nervous people, Mother and Felix Nixon. Well, Felix Nixon's going to stay on. Um, Mother, yeah, we'll, t we'll take him off and bring on VJT as we get into the second half. Double substitution at half time. And this looks dangerous. Lala Mauma moves forward with the ball for TRAU. Plays out wide to Singh. Can he get a ball in? He can. Can we defend it? We can't. It's going to fall to Singh. Plays to Horam. Ball in the box. Tursunov's there for his second goal of the game. His 14th goal of the season. Comron Tursunov. And I thought the danger man was his striking partner. How wrong was I? It looks like the other striker is going to get a hat trick this time. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? The honest answer feels like not much. Um, so they're playing counter attacking football. We're trying to control possession. How successful are we being at controlling possession? Have we got a chance here? Oh, I thought we'd. Oh, it's a penalty! It's a penalty! We've got a penalty! Okay, okay. Why, why is. Yeah, Princewell. Princewell. He's taken one, scored one. Come on. It's a good job I came back from the tactics screen there. I didn't even know we had a highlight going on. So Princewell Amika steps up to get us back into this game. Can he do it? You bet he can. 2 1. Prince Alamika's ninth goal of the season. We're back in this one. Right, so let's hope there's not going to be another highlight. Um, I'm going to leave. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Oh, no. Tursunov? No. Okay. That's good. Another throw in for TRAU. Sing with the ball. Crosses it in. Tursunov's there looking for his hat trick. It's headed away. Charles Anandraj. Can he start an attack now? Plays it to Amika. Back to Anandraj. Das moving forward with it now. Amika doesn't seem to like making attacking runs very often. But Das has still got the ball somehow. Just weaving through their entire defence. Plays it back to Anandraj. Out wide to Raju, who won the penalty for us. Can he find a teammate? Can he get a bit of space? He plays it back to the right back instead. Balakrishnan. Who looked like he was going to lose out there. And instead passes it straight to the opposition. And this could be... An opportunity for them to launch an attack. It's Tursunov with the ball to Lalo Mauma. Sing in the centre of the pitch. Great tackle from Anandraj. And Amika, is he going to win this? No, he's not. Sing wins it instead. And Tursunov with another chance. It's wide. Okay, we've got one more sub left to take. Left to make, even. Um, we've got a few players on 6.5s. Anandraj is one of them. Jocks and Das, another. I think we're going to make another centre midfield substitution. Well, saying that, the only player I can bring on is Ashik Kumar. And he's one of our youngsters. He's someone that's just been promoted from the under-18s, actually. Um, so we're not going to do that one. Both centre-backs are looking nervous and anxious. We're, we'll take off the one that's looking anxious. And we'll bring on Sahib. Let's see how he does today. So TRAU with the ball in the defensive line. Tudu with a long ball forward, but Sahib is there. And he launches a long ball himself. Long ball from their goalkeeper. This could be a chance. It's easy. He looks like he's through on goal. And there's the third. Henry is a third goal of the season. And that should wrap it up for TRAU. It looks like they're going to run away with the league title, to be honest. Another throw in deep in our half. Horam gets it back from Singh. Plays it back to Singh. Launch the ball in the box. Tursunov. Oh, no. It says Henry is it there, but that's just... I don't know why that keeps happening. I might have to report that as a bug. But Tursunov with the hat-trick. And I was saying that this looked a lot better than the first time we played them, but it could be about to get... On, on a level, they could be about to get their fifth goal here. Playing it along the back line again long ball forward flick down to Eze and that's off the crossbar right we're gonna we're gonna just change our it's very late I should have done this earlier but um, do we park the bus? I feel like we park the bus there we go we're not gonna make it any worse than it already is and we'll mark
mark and then drives down to defence of midfield. Yeah, I don't really care about rules at the minute, but we're just gonna we're gonna stop them hopefully from scoring another goal. Should have made that tactical change earlier in the game when it was maybe three one, but you live and you learn. So there we go, four one defeat this time. Not as bad as the first game, only just not as bad. Um, going to have my hands on my hips and say I'm not happy with the performance out there. They seem overall motivated. Someone looked apprehensive. Not sure who that was. Uh, back to the training ground. Back to the drawing board. Yeah. Um, I can do better no substitute for hard work why did I persist with jocks and das when it was clear for all to see particularly the fans that he wasn't up to it today I um, it wouldn't have been a case of a simple like for like change that wasn't something we could do I think that's right because our other left winger is injured wasn't it fortunate to come up against Henry Eze in that sort of form today yeah it has to be said he's very impressive and how do I think the refereeing performance reflects on the standards of officiating in India? I don't feel like I can say anything about that, so you're trying to put words in my mouth. So there we have it. We are fifth in the league with six games, at least we've got six games left to play. 11 points off top of the table. That doesn't look catchable at the minute. Seven points off the relegation zone. So it looks like it's going to be sort of mid-table mediocrity for us which the board should be pleased about because they just wanted us to avoid a relegation battle and so far this season we've managed to do that so barring any absolutely dreadful turn in form where we just lose every single game we should be good so next episode we will we'll, we'll do the game against Gokulam Kerala again last two games of the season against currently ninth place and possibly going to get relegated Gokulam Kerala and you know, Rocker you were done a really good day who are seventh but that is it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to hit the like button please subscribe to the channel to get all my content when it comes out click the notification bell to stay notified and i'll see you next time